need to, to get into more social engagement um, and that they can be partnering with, with charities <coughs> to demonstrate that. So that's <coughs> one area, and I have to say the overall theme of this feedback is um, that this can be a huge opportunity for organisations to step up to the plate. That I do think that's the dominant theme. There's a theme around the opportunity around fundraising specifically, which if I had to summarise is around, I think, case for support. Obviously, one of the things that we're concerned about is if there is a big global recession, how's that going to impact on the world's disadvantaged people, the world's disadvantaged, um, the beneficiaries we're working with? And there's, an, there's a very strong theme here that if we can be really specific and very wise about how we frame our case for support in the context of the recession and make it clear to people that the people we're helping need our help more than ever, um, that we can again find an opportunity within that. There's one interesting thing that I picked up in here, which is, which I think is fascinating, that all of our supporters around the world, all our committed donors, the people who love our causes, um, there's an interesting concept in here that they might be quite insulted to know that we're sitting in rooms panicking about the fact that just because it's a recession, they're just going to walk away and stop caring about all these causes they've been supporting for years. I'm sure a lot of them would be really concerned that we might think that. And then the third element, the very strong element, is really around best practice. So there's a really strong theme in here of you just need to do the stuff that you've known all along you should be doing. So we all come to the IFC and we all go to different training courses and we all know we're meant to be running good stewardship programs and providing good support and care, um, providing a sense of belonging, building relationships with people. Um, we all know we're meant to be tracking our data and staying on top of our data and analysing what's going on. Um, we didn't need a recession to remind us of that. But I do think that one impact the recession will have, and this material really reflects that, is it's going to make us pull our fingers down and get on with it. You don't have any choice. You've got to sort out your support to care. You've got to stay on top of your data. And from WSPA's perspective, we've been meaning to build our data analysis team for the last two years. And every time we get around to the budget and we look at hiring all those staff, and they're quite expensive and they're not going to make us any money, it's always come out of the budget. And interestingly, for the budget for next year, we've actually taken the plunge and we're going to invest in some more heavy-duty data analysis. So you'd think we'd be cutting back on our costs. We can't afford not to have good data analysis in the organisation in the recession. So there's a really strong <coughs> theme there about just get on and do the stuff that you know you should be doing anyway. And maybe if you've been finding it hard to invest in it, you can persuade your boards that now is the time that you have to invest in it. But I think the one, the one question that comes up for me and, and maybe down on, this will be one for the room, is um, I'd be fascinated to know if, if these themes would be reflected in national organisations and organisations working on the on market, because what strikes me, there are disadvantages to being in an INGO, but one of the advantages is, is there is a feeling, obviously, that you can move your investment around. Yeah. If one of our markets starts to deteriorate, we have the option of going somewhere else. So, um, this was a very optimistic response, and I, I'd be interested to know if the national organisations would that. Thanks a lot, Amanda. Amanda, stay around for Who was there? So, UNICEF, WSBA plan, oh, UNHCR. Uh, uh, UNHCR, WWF, <coughs> Save the Children, Children Child Fund, Christian Aid, w um, Greenpeace, oh, Action Aid, Action Aid, Amnesty International, Amnesty, MSF, World Vision. Yeah. So basically that's a pretty good spread of the international NGOs. Throwing that question to you, who from a national organisation thinks actually none of that applies to us? Or a big chunk of it doesn't? Because we can't run to South Korea and set up a new yeah. fundraising programme. 